Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Gray Wolf 23 MK. This camper comes in at 29 feet tongue to bumper and weighs right at 5,400 pounds empty. Up front here we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights so you can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. We have two 20 pound bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. The LP tanks have a hard shell cover with a quick access lid. We have your diamond plate rock guard, curved radius front end. Up front here, the baggage door has a magnetic door latch. Lots of storage up front here. Down below, we have electric jacks on here. How that'll work, there's gonna be a switch underneath. You hold the switch down, one leg will come down and engage. The other one will come down that they will equal out in pressure to stabilize the camper for you. Right down below here, you'll notice this holographic light with the wolf head emblem. It's the same emblem as we have up front, so at nighttime, That'll really pop and make you stand out from the rest. We have the blue LED speakers and the blue accent light underneath the awning as well. This is a 15 foot power awning. Each leg here is adjustable. If the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of that. We also have your entertainment center with your TV connections and the TV bracket right here. Furnace vents, down below, you'll notice that we have the center cap popped off. These are quick, easy loop axles. All four wheels have self-adjusting brakes and this tire pressure monitoring system. How that'll work, the side of this will turn red if you're low on air. So we will unscrew that to demonstrate. That way, if you uh, before you take off traveling down the road, you can check your tires to make sure they are good. We have your outside kitchen area with the water source, ice maker, and a refrigerator here. Um, there was also a gas quick disconnect in front of the tire. So if you have a portable gas grill, you can plug it in underneath and use the gas on the camper. Main entrance door here, we have your sturdy steps going in where each leg is adjustable. Oversized grab handle, we have your black tempered glass entrance door, has a full size screen door and an integrated window as well. We are pet friendly here, we have your leash latch so the furry family members can tag along. Four inch tube bumper to store your sewer hose. We have your spare tire and travel rack that is included. Up top, the backup camera is also included, and there is a ladder prep, so you can buy a ladder separately to hook up there to get up top for maintenance purposes. And now we will move in front of the slide room here. We have your outside shower with hot and cold water. This is a low pressure spray pour here. We have your black tank flush, so when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you hook your water hose up here and that'll blast out the tank for you. Underneath the outside shower on the left hand side is your fresh water. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you fill up your uh, fresh water tank on board, turn on your water pump and use that water. We have your city water. So if you're at a campground, you hook up your water hose and that'll pressurize the lines for you. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your porch light over here, right by all your connections and the dump station down below so you can see at nighttime. Cable connection, if your campground offers that, you can tap into that and watch cable TV inside. And last but not least, we have your on-demand water heater. It is gas only. It is a tankless system, about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. You're only running, uh, only using gas when you're running hot water. And that'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 23MK. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, we have another light shining down with the Gray Wolf logo there. We have your sofa in the back large u-shaped dinette in the slide room area here entertainment center with the fireplace and then over here with the kitchen lots of storage up top and we'll get started right inside the entrance door here we have your main control panel where you can see how full and empty your tanks are there are 12 volt heating pads on your holding tanks here you can turn those on and off here your water pump your light switches and run your awning and slide room in and out there overhead storage we have the range vent that will vent to the outside kitchen window which is the full length of the kitchen here we have two 110 outlets off to the right hand side nice counter space here this is a farmhouse style kitchen sink we have the high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer and we also have the built-in soap dispenser over there on the right hand side Storage drawers down below. The bottom one actually has a built-in trash can with it. So you can utilize that just as it is. Or you could remove that trash can and use that as extra storage as well. There is storage underneath the sink. 
Down below underneath the microwave is gonna be your furnace. Then we have your microwave, which is a convection microwave and an air fryer. Up above that, we have your three burner stove with the glass cover. So you can use that as prep space if you're not cooking. We have your 12 volt refrigerator. We do have a 100 watt solar panel mounted on the roof already. So you can run this while traveling down the road. These are deeper than the older gas electric style, giving you more storage inside as well. Underneath that, we have your breakers and fuses. On the left, that red key is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. Then a CO2 detector and your voltmeter. Before we head into the bathroom, we'll take a look at the entertainment center here. We have storage down below, your stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible. We have your fireplace, which can be on just for looks or to actually put off heat as well. Digital thermostat over there to the right. And up top, we have the decorative wallboard, TV bracket, and the connections up top there. Now we will go through into the bathroom area. The bathroom is also loaded with storage. We have these cabinets over here to the right. We have the curved radius shower with the skylight up above. The corner showers are nice, giving you lots of extra room in there as well. Up top, you'll notice we have this multi-speed exhaust fan. That is a high power vent fan there. Behind the toilet, we get more storage with your linen closet here. And then some open storage down below and the toilet area. We have storage underneath the sink, a really large single bowl sink here and the corner medicine cabinet, giving you extra storage over there as well. And with this model, you do go through the bathroom into the bedroom area. So we will take a look in the bedroom now. This camper has a queen mattress and the comforter is included as well. You got reading lights up above, storage with doors on them. So you can utilize that while traveling. Over here on the left, we have hanging storage. And then over here by the nightstand, we have a 12 volt charge port, a 110 outlet. And there's also a spot where you can buy a Bluetooth speaker and dock it right there and keep it charged up. We have windows on both sides of the bed. And over here, we do have a TV connection up on the ceiling and a TV bracket already mounted on the wall. So you could install a TV up here as well in the bedroom area. Over on the other side, we're going to have more hanging storage. There is also going to be an outlet over here that has a 12 volt charger and a, uh, a built in inverter. So when you're traveling down the road, you can utilize that 110 outlet to plug in a laptop. Even if you're at a parking lot, you can turn that on and get 110 power there. Window on this side. And now we will go back through the bathroom out into the main living room area. Right beside the door is going to be a light switch. And underneath that is your thermostat for your on-demand water heater. That will allow you to turn it on and off and adjust the temperature of the hot water. Moving out to the main living room area. Up top, we have your AC, which is roof mounted. We have two interior speakers and a subwoofer, which have the blue LED lights. And then of course, above the slide room, we have the blue LED accent light there as well. In the slide room, we have your zebra blind, which can be partially open to let a little bit of sunlight in or darken like it is right now. 12 volt charge port over there in the back corner. This is the large U-shaped dinette with full length storage drawers underneath. There's storage in the back as well. And that table will fold down and turn into another sleeping area here. In the back of the camper, we got these large windows all the way around. Jackknife sofa, which can also turn into another sleeping area. And another little bookshelf over here. 
with the 110 outlet right behind it. And that will conclude our interior walkthrough of the Gray Wolf 23MK. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.